In this video, we're going to be looking at Veridic functions with PHP 5.6. Now, I wouldn't recommend installing PHP 5.6 on a production environment, and that's because PHP 5.6 is still in beta and it isn't stable yet. Uh, but if you want to install it on your local machine, just to play around a bit like I have been doing recently, then you can go to github.com slash phpbrew slash phpbrew. You can scroll down, run these three commands, and then run phpbrew in it, and then you add the source to the for the path. Then what you can do is you can run uh, phpbrew install php 5.6.0 beta 1, or you could do beta 2. And then all you have to do is run php brew use php 5.6.0 uh, beta 2. And then what will happen is if you run php v, you'll get the 5.6 beta 1 version here. So if I go to my editor, I'm going to create a very quick uh, sample function. Let's say that we want a function to unset session variables. So let's say function unset session vars and then we'll call it down here. And let's say we want to unset user ID and username. Now, because we don't know how many arguments to expect, we can't do something like this. That's not going to work. We may only want to pass one argument, but we may want to pass 10 arguments. So what we would normally do in this situation is we would call func get args. Now if I just say for each args as arg and echo arg, if this were a real function you'd probably do something like unset session arg, but since this is just a demonstration let's just echo this out. And we'll also add a space there just to make things a little clearer. So if we run this in our CLI, there we go, we get our user ID and our username. And no matter how many arguments we add, this is still going to work. Now what Variadic functions allow us to do is to actually expect these arguments. So we do that with the dot, 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 and then we add the name. So now we can get rid of this line altogether. And if we go to our CLI and run it, we still get the same result. And we can also specify other uh, parameters. So for example, let's say, let's just say foo. I can't think of a, of a better example. So we'll just echo foo followed by a space. And then down here, we'll just add bar. And there we go. We get our bar user ID and our username. 